Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. This is Phoenix Draconis and this is k -On Reviews. All right, now as you saw in the intro, today's throwback review is going to focus on Transformers Prime First Edition RC. And I have to say, I was really surprised when I found her. I actually found her on the website by -E -B -Y, I'm sorry, B U Y E E. And uh, man, I was just really floored. So I went ahead, took the chance, I went ahead and bought her. Uh, she came in about maybe a week, maybe a week and a half ago. And as you can see, I am now reviewing her. And uh, there are certain things about her that that I like. There are certain things that I really don't like, <laughs> which I will touch upon throughout the course of this review. But let's go ahead and take a look at the head sculpt. And that is really awesome. I mean, wow. I'm going to go ahead and pull her closer so you can take a closer look at her and look at that head sculpt. I swear to God, it's almost as if she is smirking. I love that expression on her. And, uh, I mean, she's got some really good molded detail, though. I mean, very, very nice. Go ahead and just zip out so you can get a full look. All right. There she is. And as you can tell as I'm bringing her forward, she's got some really good molded detail along the chest, the face, the arms. Uh, as you can tell, they even did the little hollow space in her thighs, the wheels in the back, the wheel in the in the in her back. Very nice. Uh, good molded detail in her weapons, which are her accessories. Uh, I really wish, though, that they had given her the uh, the hand blasters because uh, they did that with the R.I.D. version of her, but that thing is, like, so honking huge. I mean, yeah. So, very, very nice. So really, some really good paint, uh, you know, paint applications on her, on her thighs. You know, very nice. Uh, like I said, you know, there's... You know, there's a lot of good things that, you know, I like to say about this figure. But at the same time, there's also some negatives. And you know me already, for anyone that watches my videos, can't have the good without the bad. Speaking of which, this is the issues I have with it. Uh, granted, it's not a bad thing. There is tightness in the joints, and especially with a figure that's about, oh, going on over 10 plus years that is an amazing thing so tightness is a good thing however i did have an issue with this one in particular where the left arm here decided to pop off and it was a pain in my rear so eventually i had to go ahead and get some clear nail polish uh, lacquer that on there and then just pop it back in so it's it's holding on there pretty well so that's a good thing uh, one of the things that, and I know other reviewers had mentioned this because I did take a look uh, at the reviews on this. These uh, shoulder pads here are not supposed to be shoulder pads. They're supposed to be wings that basically make up the side of her bike, and they're supposed to be on the on her back side or back here behind her, not on her shoulders. Uh, another thing is her chest. Her chest is very open. And I think I know how, you know, what influence APC for their, uh, for their angel, you know, in terms of the way her robot mode looks. I look at this figure and I look back on the APC figure and I'm like, okay, that's why it looks the way it does, because they bottled it after the first edition Prime. I mean, first edition, uh, you know, Transformers Prime figures. And that's how I'm seeing this now. 
So, so if I ever get the APC figure, I already know. <laughs> but oh my goodness! But uh, also because of this and this in the back, there's some very limited uh, range of motion with the arms. You can't turn them around 360. Uh, she does have. Oh, see, this is what I was talking about. So, so she does have, you know, uh, bicep rotation. Let me take off the, uh, she does have a double hinge, so that gives her more than 90 degrees of motion. Uh, her hand can go, can fold out, can fold in, but that's due to transformation. I'll try and get her. Oh, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna put her right there for now. Uh, she does have waist rotation, but again, that is due to transformation. Uh, she does have uh, her head scope. I'm gonna lift this up a bit. Her head scope can look up, can look down, can look right, can look left, can look all the way around. Uh, she can kick up around 90 degrees, kick back around 90 degrees. She has knee bend, a little over 90 degrees. Uh, there is no ankle tilt of any kind, so that is the one drawback. But other than that, that is about it. So, give me a moment to go ahead and pop that joint, pop that arm back into its joint, and we'll return with transformation. Okay, so I was able to pop that thing back in there. Let's go ahead and take off her blades, put that out of the way. I'm going to start off with transformation. Now, one of the first things we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and get these legs transformed. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and fold this up just a bit. And we're going to take this foot and we're going to bend it up like so. Now we're just going to go ahead and and just fold that in, and there we go. I'm going to do the same with the other leg. Now because this is on a type of double hinge, there we can just fold that up, and then at that point we're just going to go ahead and lift that, and there we go. Now, once that is done, we need to go ahead and get these, uh, the two sides of the wheels folded in. So, once they are there, go ahead and fold that in. We're going to go ahead and snap that in there. And then, we're going to take this portion here and snap that in. Once that's there, there we go. Now... With that being done, we're going to go ahead and just leave that alone before we do anything further. Now we're just going to go ahead and fold the arms down like so. Alright, now we're going to take this back portion here and we're going to go ahead and turn these deals up. Her, her chestises. Now once that head is in there, and for those that did not see it, because I don't know if that was out of camera range, come on, get out. Alright, so we had to pull this back here, okay? Now I'm just going to go ahead and push the head in or down like so, and we're just going to push that in. Now, once that's done, we are just going to go ahead and twist this around. Oh, hold on. So we're going to take these two sides here. And let me bring this up just a bit. Alrighty, and let's tilt this down. Alright, there we go. Much better. Okay, so, as I was about to say, 
when I put this to the side, we're gonna take these chest pieces, we're gonna fold that around. Once that's done, we're going to just go there, make sure the handlebars are on the other side. And there we go. Now, all we gotta do, because there's two pegs, they're gonna go onto either side of the, what was once RC's chest. There we go. And there we go, right there. So that just gets folded in. All right, now at this point, this section here is going to, we're going to turn the arms around. We're gonna fold them in. I'm going to take the hands and we're going to just fold it in like so. We're going to do the same on the other side. Good. Sorry, I accidentally dropped my tweezers. All right, so now we're just going to go ahead and push this here. Now, one thing that I did forget, there is a tab on this side here that's going to go to the port on the side of the forearm. And... And that is going to come on, get in there. There we go. That's going to tab in there, and that's going to tab in there. There we go. All right. Now that that portion is done, now we're going to twist the waist. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and bend the knees in. And of course, there's a tab on the side here that goes into that small little slot, like that. And there we go. All right. That is pretty awesome. And of course, it does have a kickstand, so... Plop that there, and there she is already there. Now, more than likely, you're probably going to ask, what about these? Now, you pretty much may have seen these tabs on the side, and they are going to go into these slots here, like so. Now, there will be some people that will be like, no, I don't like them like that. You know what? It's storage. But again, I totally agree, you know, when it comes down to it. Personally, though, I do I do like it. It's not bad. It's a good-looking bike. And there she is, right there. All right. So, there she is, transformed. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to bring out the RID version as well as the Legacy version. And we're going to do a little bit of a comparison. So, give me a moment and I'll be right back. All right, folks. There they are. The RCs and I have to say each of them have their own distinct look and appeal now this one being the first edition will be more tune accurate this one a little bit lighter over here which is the RID 
and this one is the more g one fide legacy version. Uh, each one of them has their own style and whatnot. Now, you know, now this one, as I had out, was about to show off, you know, has her own style. She's got the blades on either side, very nicely sculpted. You know, uh, I, I, I mean, I have to say, wow. Now this one was, uh, I'd say, when I originally had her. I wound up getting this version first because I was unable to find this one, uh, the uh, first edition version. But this one is very similar, but her transformation is a little bit different. Uh, not to mention uh, her transform. Uh, well, I think I just mentioned it. Her transform is a little bit different. So very nice. And then this one is just a G1 oops, version of of her uh, of her Transformer Prime version. Now this one has recently been toy hacked, uh, so you'll do see a lot more detail on her. Very nice, I, if I do say so myself. Yeah, so there they are in in their. Uh, vehicle mode. Let's go ahead and get them transformed so you can see what they each look like in robot mode. Alright, and there they are. And I have to say, wow. I mean, each one of them has their appeal. Now, you have the first edition version over here. And, I mean, they tried to go ahead and just make her as show accurate as possible and then of course when uh, when the RID version came out uh, they used the the same mold in a way as um, oh my god I can't believe I forgot her name Chromia there we go <laughs> uh, for for her transform uh, I should say her or transform method and they gave her one of those blasters though I think <laughs> as you can see it's a little bit too long that's what she said <laughs> uh, they did give her one of her blades I wish they gave her both not to mention they did correct the error on this one with putting her wings on her back and then of course you have the legacy version and like I said this is a G1 of version of of RC from Prime and I have to say it is not bad looking I know there was a lot of people that said they didn't like it and whatnot I just saw it for what it is a G1 of version of of a former series rendition of RC. Uh, of course this one has been toy hacked a bit to give her a little bit more oomph. I'm going to probably do the same for the uh, first edition as well as the RID once I get those. We will revisit these three again. But uh, yeah, that's my comparisons of these three. Give me a moment to get the other girls out of the way so we can focus on the first edition where I'll give you my final thoughts as well as my score. All right, folks, thank you for waiting. I appreciate your patience. Now, as I had stated throughout the course of this video, I love this figure. I am so grateful that I've been able to find her. Honestly, it was just by pure blind luck that I stumbled upon her on buy, and it was at a reasonable price, you know, you know, about maybe thirty bucks or so after taxes, and then an additional what twenty-five to thirty dollars for shipping 
from overseas. So um, it's a good investment. Uh, though, again, she's not without issues, as uh, I may have already stated before. She has, um, you know, they did try to make her really close to her character designs. Though she is having some issues, especially with her left arm. I had to go ahead and put in some nail polish to tighten the joint. So now it's starting to stay on there. Uh, also, these deals here on the side, you know, that are supposed to be her wings. They're supposed to be in the back, which the RID version was able to, to successfully do. Uh, however, they weren't able to do it with this one. I, so that's probably why they did it in this version. Uh, I love that they gave her, her her blades for her arms. I really wish they had given her uh, her main weapons, you know, two of them, but not this big like they did with the RID. Uh, now, of course, her chest is a big, big issue. Um, oh my goodness, what to say about that? Uh, I really wish they had a type of peg to peg the chest in a little bit, but it leaves it open. So there we go. Uh, let's see, her transformation was a little bit uh, difficult considering that I never had this figure before until now. And it did not come with the instruction book. So after looking at several different, uh, you know, reviewers, of course, I had to go ahead and reverse engineer it, especially when transforming it from robot to vehicle, which is how I got her originally, which is in robot mode. Uh, but uh, other than that... You know, I think that's all the gripes that I have. Uh, I like this figure. It's very true to the character designs as much as possible. And uh, if I have to go ahead and give it a score on a scale of 1 through 10, I'm going to go ahead and give her a 9. Uh, what basically took a point off was the issues that I mentioned before. But let me ask you. Have you been able to get one of these in the past or now recently? And if so, do you like her? Do you hate her? Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. Click on to the bell icon so you can be notified when I post up new videos. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching. This is Phoenix Draconis, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace.